You are welcome to today's class on English. We are going to have another section in the use of preposition. Now we have more practical questions, that is questions drawn from past exams, so that you can learn from them. So look at them and uh, as we explain them, listen carefully so that you can penetrate maximally. We are going to look at some questions now, get them explained and of, uh, get them answered, get the answers explained. Now, we'll take question number one. I'm in our list dash campus. What should be our answer? In, on, at, the, or inside? Now, should we, should we say I'm in our list in campus? Or I'm in our list on campus? I'm in our list at the campus? I'm in our list inside? Campus. Now, our answer is B. I'm in our list on campus. I'm sure you've heard that before, on campus. On campus, uh, it's somewhat a physical locate that is always used when you talk of campus. The, word, the, the preposition on is uh, somewhat a physical locate, that is, it's, it's the, the usual thing to use. So you want to take note of that, I'm in our list on campus. But uh, if, we, if we had inside the, then it will also be a possible answer for the option D. I'm in our list inside the campus. That will be meaningful. Hence, the, uh, hence, there's no V attached to inside. Question number two. The police officer warned the Dash communities against taking the law Dash hands. The police officer warned the Dash communities against taking the law Dash hands. Now, A is fueling stroke into there. And so we have the police officer warned the fueling communities against taking the law into their hands. B fueled a stroke to their own. That is, the police officer warned the fueled communities against taking the law to hands, to their own hands. And they will have C fueling stroke into their own. The police officer warned the community warned the fueling communities in against taking the law into their own hands. And then D, funeral stroking their own, and that means we'll have the police officer one, the feuding, the feudal communities against taking the law in their own hands. What is our answer? The answer is A. The answer is A. The police officer won the feuding communities against taking the law into their hands. Now, watch, uh, take note of C, which is almost the same as A. The only difference is the own. You don't need to add into their own hands, just into their hands. Having said that, you also note that this question is not only on preposition, but also on the use of the correct present participle or adjectiva. It's operating here as adjectiva, feuding communities. You take it as an, it's a present participle acting as an adjective, showing that they are quarreling. Feud is a word for quarrel or warring. People who are at war or fighting or quarreling, uh, they are in a feud. So they are feuding communities. To put fuel up would be inappropriate. So our answer once more is A. Question number three. The young man has dashed to sober dash after being drunk. Now, we have the options began, stroke up. As began is B-E-G-A-N. So the young man has begun to sober up after being drunk. B, begun, stroke in. B-E-G-U-N. The young man has begun to sober in after being drunk. Now we have C began stroke up B E G U N. The young man has begun to sober up after being drunk. Then we have D began stroke down. The young man has begun to sober down after being drunk. Now what is our answer? The answer is C on two counts. This question is not only on the use of preposition. Actually, what we have here 
This question ought to come under phrasal verb. But okay, we, we just take it. We already take on it because big uh, has begun. Uh, Sober actually is so uh, is is a phrasal verb that uh, shows coming out of an emotional state, whichever emotional state, such as being drunk and uh, being overly excited and all that. So, well, it also involves the use of preposition. Okay, having said that, we now explain this. So, sober up, I've already uh, explained that, what it means to sober up. It's a phrasal verb, actually, with the verbs of uh, sober and the preposition up. Having said that, another underlying factor is the use of this verb, the proper, the proper uh, verb. Now, we have a present perfect tense here, and usually once you have the verb to have, what comes here, the verb that comes, is the past participle. And the past participle of begin is begun. Hence, we have C as our answer. Question number four. As we sat dash the silence, my eyes dash the room. As we sat dash the silence, my eyes dash the room. Now options A under stroke looked. That is, as we sat under the silence, my eyes looked the room. We have B over stroke surrounded. As we sat over the silence, my eyes surrounded the room. Now we have C in stroke room. Roamed as we sat in the silence, my eyes roamed the room. Then we have D along stroke observed. Uh, that is, as we sat along the silence, my eyes observed the room. Now, what is our answer? We can let's start from A as we sat under the silence. Now, you want to know that this under the silence will be correct because. There's no si silence on top that one is under. The silence is all surrounding the speaker, obviously. So, in such a situation, we say, sit in the silence. You can also say, uh, uh, it was in the rain. Although sometimes under the rain is used. And then we say, um, and, and also, you want to take note of that. So, appropriately, we should have sitting, uh, sitting under would work there. All right, then we'll look at, look the room. You don't, that is even wrong. We can't just say you look the room. You look at, the word look usually collocates with the preposition at. Okay, so it means option A is out. Then we'll take B as we sat over the silence. That is awkward. The silence can be under. At least there's no literal uh, thing as such. There's no way the silence can carry anybody, and so it's difficult to say you, you sat over the silence. And then, how can the eyes surround the room? That is uh, pretty difficult and it's awkward. So, we also eliminate B. Now, let's look at D as we sat along the silence. That is also awkward. You can, how do you sit along? The silence, and you can't just sit along something. Uh, okay, you can sit along a person. So silence is not a person that you sit along. But the other aspect could be correct. You observe the room, meaning you observe the people in the room, or you look around the room. Now that leaves us with a. We can sit in silence, and our eyes can roam a place. So as we sat in silence. My eyes roam the room is a correct answer. In room. Question number five. I was often angry dash or chair since he differed dash me often. Options with stroke two. That is, I was often angry with or chair since he differed to me often. And that will have B about stroke with. I was often angry about or chair since he differed with me. C engaged stroke from. I was often angry engaged or chair since he differed from me. And then we'll have D with stroke with. I was often angry with or chair since he differed with me.
The answer here is D. Because you, you are angry with somebody and then you, you can differ with the person. You differ with. Uh, so the answer to question number five is D.